Oh, it's back and better than ever. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got seven mods for you. For all platforms, we've got three new and three updates. And for PC and Mac only, we've got one update. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the Fiat Agri 18090. This was arguably one of the most popular tractors in Farming Simulator 17. Everybody used it. It sounded good. It looked good. It had plenty of power. You could do whatever you wanted to with this. And Pepe has brought it back to Farming Simulator 19. And I could not be more excited. It's got some really cool animations. It's got some interesting wheels on here too. I just wish they actually worked, but it's okay nonetheless. Let's jump in here. You can see when you jump in, you get a nice little sound. The door opens for you. But if you want, you could just open the door all by yourself. That opens up just fine. And when you get out, the door opens automatically, closes automatically. What? You get plenty of customization on here as well. So let's jump in and check it out. Let's customize one of these. Let's go into vehicles. Let's go into medium tractors. And we don't have to go too far. Here it is. Fiat Agri 18090 for $33,500. Got 180 horsepower from stock. Holds 280 liters of fuel, which is pretty comparable to a tractor this size. Also goes 24 miles per hour. Look at that. Oh, man. Configuration. We have standard. We have rear mud guards. You've got a 450 kilogram front weight and then with those you can add different things to the back as well now if you don't put a weight on the back you get the option of a front loader however if you put a weight on the front you will lose that front loader option so if that's something you're wanting keep in mind you're not going to be able to put a weight on the front of this thing of course if you're using a front loader there's going to be plenty of weight on the front anyway now moving on from there design we have standard we also have hydraulic pistons. Changes a few things on the inside as well. So you've got that engine setup, short pre-filler or, or filter or long pre-filter. So you've got that going on as well. Again, front loader, you've got that. Now, this is the part that I wish worked, the wheels. So we've got some adjustable stuff right here, variable rear track, and then variable total. So you've got variable setups for everything. What these do is you basically loosen it up, turn the wheel, and it brings the wheel either farther in or farther out, depending. But I wish we could do that. Oh, it's so cool. But for now, unfortunately, it's just the design. There's really not a whole lot to it. It doesn't change anything. You basically get two designs. You get a normal and a wide, and then you could choose different ones from there. There's about four or five different ones total. It's cool. I love it. I just wish that uh, wish that we could do that. So if you go into design as well, if you go past hydraulic pistons, you do get a forestry option for this as well. If you guys want to do some awesome forestry going on, this thing looks pretty cool. I've got to admit, I miss this tractor. We have something very similar to it um, in a New Holland tractor. You can make it look like this, but it just wasn't the Fiat Agri. But now we've got it, it's here, get hype. One of the great things about this is the sound. Let's go ahead and turn everything on. Let's jump in and we're just gonna take a listen. Man, that thing's nice. Your next new mod for all platforms today is the Grain Auger. Now, this you may look at and go, was it an auger? What, what does it do? And why has it got all this going on down here at the bottom? What this will do is it will take grain from the ground or anything bulk, and it will bring it up and drop it. <laughs> so you could put a trailer under here, something like that. This is enterable just like any other vehicle. If we turn on our help window, we can see we can start the engine, we can fold the belt. So if we unfold it, we get a nice little trailer hitch down there, which I have not been able to get to work. 
So maybe if you guys are able to, let me know. But we can unfold that. Of course, we could turn the belt on. And now it's working. Silently. Very silently. Of course, you need grain to make it work. We'll go ahead and turn the engine off and we'll turn that off as well. Where are you going to find this? Well, this is going to be found in tools. And it's actually going to be found in belt systems right here for $8,000. Now, if we go at the bottom and we take a couple clues in, it says conveyor belts are an alternative way to load your trailers. This belt will take material from the ground and load it onto the next conveyor belt. Well, it doesn't actually have to go into a conveyor belt. What are some other things that say the same thing? Is there anything else that says that? The first one. This one right here. Conveyor belts are alternative way to load your trailers. This belt will take material from the ground and load it onto your next conveyor belt. It says the exact same thing. Well, as you know, this guy right here will literally auto load any kind of bulk material from the ground, bring it up, and drop it onto whatever's next. That's exactly what this does right here. The grain auger will do the exact same thing for a comparable price as well. However, it doesn't attach to anything else. It is a standalone piece of equipment, so you don't need anything else with this. That is the beauty of this mod right here. Plus, it's great. A lot of you guys, if you're playing on smaller maps, you don't have silos. You just dump stuff on the ground. This is gonna make loading that stuff from the ground onto a trailer nice and easy. We do get some customization with it. You get a nice blue, you get a nice gray, and you also get a very nice red color as well. Don't know exactly which colors these match. I imagine the blue's probably more of a portrait color, something like that. Nonetheless, that is it. That is the only customization you can do. You could buy it, you could lease it, but that's it. And that's how it works. You simply bring it up. You can drive this thing around as well. So if you're in it, let's see, let's start the engine. And uh, yeah, you can just drive it around. It's a little silly, but you could drive it around. You go forward, you go backwards. It's just like any other conveyor belt. And you just back into your grain, load it up, and it'll come out to shoot. Nice and easy. Your last new mod for all platforms today is the Sheep Pasture Large. Can we just call it a large sheep pasture? Come on, man. This right here will hold 350 sheep, all kinds of normal stuff. It does not say that it is seasons ready. So you may have to do some experimenting yourself to find out whether this will have the snow mask on it or not. Of course, water is going to go over here. This is where you're going to buy your sheep. So if we come over here and we decide, eh, we're going to buy some. I don't know how many we're going to buy. We'll just buy yeah, 20 sheep. How is about that? 20 is going to be fine. Confirm. There you go. If we need to get in here for any reason, which you won't, but if you do, you can easily do that. You can fit a tractor through there, all that kinds of good stuff. Food, of course, will go right here, and your wool will spawn here. But there's something interesting. Because these bells are movable. Now, I have a lift anything mod, so I could pick big heavy stuff up. But anytime I see something like this, I always think, okay, are these real bells? Are they going to reset? Every single one of them moves. So what I've done is I've got a food mixer here and I'm just going to plop that there. And it did not mix. So that to me tells me these bells are fake. They will respawn back where they're supposed to every time. But I think it's kind of cool that we actually get like movable bells. Now we'll say that these will take up a little bit of space. So just keep that in mind as well. But nonetheless, it's, I mean, it's neat. It's a nice little touch there. And of course, you've got all kinds of little stuff around here as well. I haven't seen any lights, so just keep that in mind as well. If this is in a dark place, if you're doing sheep at night for whatever reason, you may run into a few problems. But nonetheless, there you go. Of course, if you want to find this, this could be found in placeables. It could be found in animal pens. And it's going to cost you $100,000. Dollars. It doesn't have any links, so you can put this in any way, shape, or form that you'd like. Heck, if you've got a couple different mods installed, you can even layer a few on top of each other. Whatever you want, have some fun. There you go. That's your large sheep pasture. Moving into updates for all platforms, we have the PLN635 Plow. 
Update for this one, changelog 1.003, new specular map, and new brand name as well. This is a Rubars, Rubars. This, I believe, was originally a lizard brand, um, but it has now been changed over. If you guys are curious about this one, of course, it's going to be in plows, but I still think that it says lizard on it, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, right here. This is it. Boom. Click it a bam. It still says lizard on it, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Nonetheless, uh, Rubars, main color, red, green, blue, whatever you'd like. That's your update. We've also got an update to Fancy Smanshee's swimming pool for decoration. Changelog 1.2, new mask texture, and set the mod description ID to 46. So there you go. Of course, if you want this, this one's going to be found in placeables and in miscellaneous. And your last update for all platforms, we have the ITS drive laner. Changelog 1.2, this is the compact update. Added the E-Drive Laner Compact as a design option for the 3 Drive Laner and now has an attachable model on the Kloss Front Loader console. So if you guys were using Kloss stuff like that but you couldn't use the E-Drive Laner for whatever reason, now you'll be able to use it. And your last mod today, it's going to be an update for PC and Mac only. This is the Real Dirt Color mod, changelog 1.1.1.1. Fix load map function of certain mods, which were being blocked by the removal of registration scripts in the event listener. So that has all been fixed. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoAm fam, and turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a new mod video here on the channel. As some of you may know, new mods do not come out on the weekend, so since this video is coming out on a Friday, we will not have any new mod videos, at least until Monday, so we'll be taking a two-day break for the weekend, but this series will be back hopefully on Monday with some new mods. But with all that being said, I hope you have a great day and a great weekend, and we'll see you later. Peace!